Almost 70% of people experience imposter syndrome, which isn't considered a mental disorder. So how do you know that you have it? Stick till the end of the video as we share the main signs of imposter syndrome plus ways to deal with it. If you are new to this channel, then welcome to The Alchemist. We make psychology-related content, so if you're into this stuff, then press the subscribe button for more. Now let's get back to our topic. Now if you have played the game Among Us, the imposter is supposed to kill the members while keeping his identity a secret. So evil, right? But don't worry, this isn't the case for people with imposter syndrome. It is quite the opposite. It refers to the psychological experience of feeling like a fraud, despite having achieved real success in life. Such individuals will never trust their abilities and will always self-doubt themselves despite being good at something. So if you are one of those people who never take credit for their achievements, you can be one of them. Symptoms of anxiety and depression might also accompany this condition. Interestingly enough, in the past, it was thought that imposter syndrome is only found high-achieving women, but research now shows that it can be present in any person, regardless of gender, social status, expertise, etc. This condition arises from feeling inadequate no matter what you do. That is why the affected person can never truly feel the joy of success and give themselves a pat on the back. Now let's move on and take quick a look at some of the types of imposter syndrome. Pay attention to see which category you fit in. The first type is the perfectionist. As the name indicates, this individual craves excellence in everything. They are always hungry for success and make sure that everything is flawless. For instance, you have completed a group presentation and you're confident about it. But there will always be one person running to fix everything and make changes until the last hour. This happens because they feel inferior to others and want to put more effort to excel. Second type is Superman. I am sure we all have encountered this type at our workplace. Mostly recruits who want validation from their peers take on extra work to complete in a short time. They set these unrealistic deadlines for themselves and are willing to extra responsibilities even when they don't have to. These people don't value their enjoyment and might even be online during their vacation. The next type is the soloist. This type resents asking others for help no matter how badly they need it. They think that asking for help shows their incompetence and is an embarrassment. The upcoming type is the natural genius. You might have heard the phrase happy-go-lucky. This is what describes these individuals. From the very beginning, they have achieved success while putting in minimum effort. They get everything right the first time, so they aren't used to failure. But when they enter practical life and experience their first mistake, they think there's no second chance. The fifth type is the expert. This category thinks that they need to know everything all at once to be worthy of holding a designation. Unless they have all the skills and experience required, they can't advance in their field. This isn't simply true. No person knows everything from the get-go. We all are work in progress, and becoming an expert takes time. You can also fit into more than one of these categories, so don't limit yourselves. To get past imposter syndrome, you need to ask yourself some hard questions. 1. What beliefs do I hold about myself? 2. How true are these beliefs? Once you're done with this, try sharing your thoughts with someone else. The problem is, you're internalizing the issue, and when you take someone else's opinion about yourself, you'll know how negatively you thought about your worth. Now that you are aware of your thinking pattern, question whether the emotions you're feeling are rational or not. Additionally, Stop comparing yourselves to other humans. Each and everyone had different circumstances and hardships in life, so only track your journey. In this age of social media, everyone loves to brag. If you're trying to portray a different version online, it will only worsen your feeling fake. That's it for today, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you do subscribe and like our channel. We have many similar psychology and self-improvement videos that are awaiting you. You are an alchemist. Make gold of that.